Hi everyone, thank you for clicking on today's video. So we are reviewing The Cruel King and The Great Hero. So without further ado, let's make a start on that review. If you haven't heard about this game before, then this is a side-scrolling, storybook animated light RPG. After a battle with the Dragon King that sees the dragon lose one of its ears, and with it his cruel corruption, the dragon was tasked with taking care of the hero's daughter Yu. Reminiscing and telling stories of her father's great victories and conquests, Yu wants to experience her own journey and adventure, and this is what this game is all about. Let's just move on to talk about the gameplay. This is a turn-based side-scrolling JRPG. Much like the old Pokemon games, you will experience random battles as you travel through different parts of the game. You can face multiple enemies at once, and on the rare occasion, you may only face a single enemy, although that did happen to me very, very rarely. This is certainly one of the easier turn-based RPGs I have played and experienced and it's very clear that the developers have sacrificed some difficulty in order for players to be able to focus on the storytelling aspect of the game. When it comes to combat you have standard attack, skill based attack, defend, item and flee. Each round you gain one skill point and different skill based attacks use a different amount of skill points. In order to progress in the game you will need to use different support characters and these are unlocked as you play through the game. You can only have one party member with you at each time. Each time you battle you gain XP but you don't have any indicator to tell you when you will next level up. And it does feel pretty random when it happens and it can get a little bit frustrating if you want to grind and you want to try and up your levels just not knowing when it's going to happen is pretty frustrating completing certain quests unlocks different weapons and armor as well as finding chests around the map that may also contain useful items you will also come across merchants along the way who will also have various items for sale such as potions, spells and new equipment. You have both the usual maps, on this game you have both a 3D map and a 2D map and it has all the usual indicators of what's on the map. I did find the battling system quite frustrating as the same attack on the same enemy never did the same damage twice so it felt far too random and there was almost no way to predict the best way to defeat the same enemy. On a normal RPG you kind of come across a similar enemy and you know what's going to work. On this one I just felt like it was very very random. Definitely without a doubt my biggest issue with the game was just how slow it was. Both the on-screen text even set to fast seemed very slow and you herself was very slow as well. In villages you can run and in areas with weaker enemies I could also run but 90% of the time I was spent doing this casual walk which I do believe was just a way to add more playtime to the game. This game has storybook artwork throughout, as well as hand-drawn still images for telling certain parts of the story. The use of this art style is done very well and I can't pick a fault with it at all. I think the game looked really beautiful and certainly visually I would give this 10 out of 10 without a doubt. Sadly, on two occasions the game completely froze and I had to restart the game. 
Also, on multiple occasions, the game froze for a few seconds and I wasn't sure whether it was going to restart or not. Speaking to a few other people, I know this has also happened to them. So fingers crossed they do put out a fix for this because it's obviously not just happening to me. It has happened to a few people. Let's just sum up. So this is a very simplistic RPG. This is not going to appeal to core RPG gamers, but anyone who enjoys good storytelling, you will definitely enjoy this. If you wanted to introduce someone to their first RPG, then this would definitely be a great place to start. From a personal perspective, I struggled with the slowness of the game, but it doesn't take away from this very well made game and a game I would definitely recommend picking up. I just want to say we've had lots of new subscribers to the channel so I do appreciate all those new subscribers and all the old subscribers. If you are new do introduce yourself into the comments. I just want to finish by saying thank you all so much for watching. Take care guys and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.